He committed one of the worst crimes our city has ever seen, kidnapping and killing a Houston letter carrier. But tonight, this man, David Port, is out of prison, released decades early. Local 2 investigator Robert Arnold first told you about his release, that it was coming last year. He is live at the West Houston Post Office, named for the victim in this case. Robert? This post office off of Rogerdale was named in honor of Deborah Sue Schatz. Today, just before 2 p.m., her killer, David Isidore Port, was released from prison. He was sent to a facility just outside of Austin, and we've learned he will be placed on the highest level of parole supervision. This is David Port's new home, the Southern Corrections Transition Center in Del Valley. It's a halfway house for recently paroled felons. In June of 1984, Port kidnapped Deborah Sue Schatz as she was delivering mail. The 23-year-old postal worker's body was later found in Cypress Creek. Port was convicted of murdering Schatz and sentenced to 75 years in prison. His release Thursday comes after serving less than half of that sentence. I would like to blow him off this earth. That's what I would like to do. Before she passed away earlier this year, Schatz's mother, Barbara, sat down with Local 2 investigates to talk about how she dreaded Port's release. He took something precious away from me. Port was not granted parole. The state had to release him because he was sentenced under an old Texas law meant to alleviate prison overcrowding. Texas has since abolished this law for violent felons. Even though he is out of prison, Port will still be subjected to what's called super intensive parole supervision. His location will be monitored 24 hours a day via GPS and he'll have a curfew. He is not allowed to enter Harris County without permission and he is to have no contact with Schatz's family. Real. Victims' rights advocate Andy Kahn also wants to have Port subjected to sex offender conditions. That's really the only way the community will be able to know where Port is residing. And Khan makes that argument because evidence showed that Port was trying to rape shots at the time of her murder. State prison officials tell Local 2 that Port will be evaluated to determine if he should also be placed under sex offender restrictions. We are live in Southwest Houston. Robert Arnold, KPRC Local 2. Robert, right, thank you. According to state records, Port will remain under parole restrictions until the year 2062.